Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, uh, what I have in front of me this time around is the uh, recent release from PGM, the Ferrari F40 LM. Okay, so basically this one has uh, this release has two versions, um, the square box. Okay, sorry, the premium box. Okay, the one uh, that I have here, premium box where the display right will be a circular version. Okay, or they call it the regular release. Oops, sorry, the regular release would be like that. Um, basically, it's the same. It's the same car. Okay, basically, it's the same car. Uh, just different packaging. So this one comes with that rectangular wooden base, right, with the metal plate with running numbers, nine 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 pieces. Okay, and then um, while well, the other one, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the other one, the one that comes with the. Uh, the premium package right the ones the one that come with the round premium display box okay so i really like this this format of packaging from pgm it really makes it very very premium um however i'm a little bit let down by this this release i'll tell you why a little bit later okay so uh it comes with this toothpick okay this leathery thing right which you will use later on to actually pick open the opening parts Okay, so this is something that's really exciting. Now uh, we can check it, check out the, all the opening parts from uh, this release. Okay, so there we go. You see the circular, very premium um, display box. Okay, all right, with the uh, the wooden base. So it has a running number as well. Uh, out of nine 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 pieces. Yeah, one thousand pieces. Okay, so you can slide it out. You can take it out. All right, so what i have with me okay is i'm gonna roll it there we go <laughs> it's already out of the box okay uh main, one of the reasons is because i do um unboxing over on uh, facebook live over at collector's cube so whenever i can i will do live unboxing um, whenever there's any new arrival so do look us up there okay that's Collectors Cube Q-U-B-E um, Hit that like button as well Because that will help me out In the uh, YouTube algorithms Okay Now here we go uh, This is actually The actual packaging For the one I have out here Okay So it has that blister Okay It has this um, Circular Premium acrylic cover Alright So it has stickers Right It has two stickers Which kind of don't work Because it's A wooden base The sticker do not stick On On the base So when when you remove it out of that square packaging earlier, right? You just got to be a little bit more careful with it. You don't drop it. Make sure you support the bottom. Okay? So underneath, like that. And then, you know, imagine you have the car here. And then you can twist it. Okay? Ooh, whoa. Okay? And then, um, what I managed to do is, you see? I can see the mechanism underneath. And then, um, unscrew them two screws okay with the uh, um, can I call it a fastener this is a support thing a rubbery support thing so that uh, it gives a gap a nice gap between the car and the base okay so you don't square off your uh, the rubber wheels all right okay so that's that's the display I'm gonna put that aside okay now uh, we go to the car <clears throat> Okay, we go to the car, and uh, what I have here as well, I managed to dig out my TLVN Ferrari uh, stuff. Okay, um, there's a 512 at the back, there's a Testarossa at the back as well, and then um, basically the F40s from um, TLVN. Okay, so this is uh, that tree is something that um, I collect, and uh, I haven't seen them for a while, and when I get it out of the box, right? Uh, I'm just a little concerned about the paint. Um, with with all TLVNs, they tend to have that problem. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this. Don't know if you can see it. I don't remember seeing this when when I just got it because it's kind of happening on the same um, area. Okay, with the red and also the yellow and also with the black. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if I can just. Uh, try to wax it off. Hopefully, I can. All right. If you if you do know how you 
if what are your tips and tricks on you know taking care of your TLVN? Because uh, we do have a friend here who does polish his cars. Um, I believe that would help. Okay, but uh, yeah, I haven't started doing that yet. Okay, so that's the uh, closest comparison, I guess. Um, now, let me think. Uh, I think still the PGM costs lesser than the Ferrari red and yellow um, I can't recall the price for the black okay that we have on the right over there I really can't recall the price for the black um, I think this was priced higher than when we got it in Malaysia uh, it was priced higher than than the PGM that that I have on my hands right here so the party piece of this is actually all the opening parts so on all four sides um, we can actually open it okay so yeah and yeah the sweet spot right you saw you saw it rolling in right yep so PGM made it uh, being able to roll okay so one of the first detail that I can actually immediately tell you right this is actually a uh, Ferrari F40 LM okay they market it that market it that way um, one of the uh, a couple a couple of the, the the easiest way to tell right how this is different from the F40 right is the intake here okay the carnage here and then um, the very the very extended common fiber lip okay underneath down here okay and then the door mirrors the side mirrors all right this one is actually on the window okay on the window as opposed to the original F40 right the side mirror is actually sitting on the door okay all right and then um yeah we we, we checked out the hood already right so i i did check out a couple of um uh a couple of photos of the uh f40 lm right there are only 19 that was made and um the thing is that they they all have this they have this canard as well. I think it's called Naka du Nakar Ducks. Okay, it's a how to say uh, it, it's a design taken from the the airplanes, fighter fighter jets. Okay, uh, being imp implemented in, in, implemented on the car. So this is also something similar to to the real car. However, this part, okay, this additional lamp here, right? This is actually a pop up lamp as well. Um, this actually do not exist on the LMs okay so I don't know why or which version the PGM refer to and um, you know or maybe they want to show off you know they are able to do this okay so that's the front hood and the lip and then the opening doors okay with this uh, intake the Kana the, the Nakadax on the side on the side um, which drives airflow to the back okay feeding the engine and also um, to cool off the the heat from the the, the, the the wheels okay all the way to the back so at the back here you can see through with all the lights right let me zoom in a little bit more it goes straight all the way through so that helps airflow beautifully okay so uh, these these um, holes okay do exist on a real car this one as well and um, one of the the major difference uh, between the LM and the F40 is the wing, as well. It's a separate wing. It's there's a gunny. It's a two two tier. Okay, so PGM did try to do that. It's a two tier wing, and um, the thing is that I know that these are adjustable. Okay, these are actually adjustable. Um, uh, but how is it being adjust is a question mark because I do know I. I do. I did see some um, mechanism where I thought that's gonna be adjusted from the back right here, but uh, from somewhere I heard I can't even call where they say that you know well, you can adjust it from inside the car. So yeah, okay. Prancing horse logo on the side here, okay, and in the front as well. Uh, it has it has been a while since we've seen actual Ferrari logo on a Ferrari shaped. Uh, die cast okay so it's nice to see it back again um, not just on the TLVNs okay so we do know that TLVN do have the license to make these Ferraris but um, I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure about PGM um, I don't see any 
I don't see any Ferrari uh, genuine product sticker on the back okay yeah so I don't know if it's licensed okay three exhaust tips at the middle at the back um, indicator lights with the reverse lights very nicely done the tail lights as well the Ferrari logo up here now there are some versions where I've seen there is a pillar here that goes down here in the middle okay so this one is without I think it's I think it's still true to some versions because I've seen quite a uh, I've seen a few different versions especially the rims um, yeah that that there has been quite a few different set of rims already okay and uh, oh I think ah okay this is nice this is nice this is actually a separate piece this indicator lights um, this one is print on okay so mine yeah you can see me just opening it up right what happened to my door is I don't know I, I've been displaying it under a week less than a week and um, yeah this one when it came it was fine but uh, after being displayed for a couple of days it's very loose unfortunately I do quite like the hinge design on this I think that that's why it makes the gap so small all right um, it can open up quite far out actually so you just gotta be a little bit more careful with it I guess um, inside a little bit similar to the real thing okay so there's no door handles um, you just gotta pull a string to open and close the door um, the windscreen the windows they are all um, one to one scale right they're all in plastic uh, to save weight okay so interior wise there's there's details on the dashboard there is come on can I zoom in a little bit more can you see it the there's a yellow circle on the steering wheel in there right yep that is supposed to be where the Ferrari logo sits very nice very nice there's a little black dot on it I guess very nice um, yeah we can see the other the rest of the details on the dash actually even on the central console um, the five gear manual gearbox okay the lever is there the le gear lever detail is there uh, this is the real car has um, they call it the dog leg uh, gearbox where the first gear is actually on the lower left okay so the reverse gear is on the upper left all right okay so you can open a door on both sides now yeah mine is a little bit loose that's why you don't see me using this thing right okay I'm gonna there we go okay open it up and you can see more details in there even oh yeah now I can see it even clearly on this side can you see the pedals I see three pedals. Damn. Damn. Holy moly. That is crazy. A lot of zoom. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the pedals. All three pedals there. Crap. What the. Nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Handbrake details there as well. Um, bucket seats with the seat belts okay and then can open from the front here we go there is a little detail in here as well that's the i believe that's the radiator okay there's some detail up here as well i'm not sure what is that uh it kept the shape of um you know being able to keep the spare wheels here okay that's nice All right that's the front and then we go to the back okay so the back right uh it came with the uh the engine stand the engine cover stand okay so the real car does had have, have that as well so i'm just gonna lift it up i don't need to use that toothpick and okay this this is one of the part where i quite like about uh pgm now you see it's different for left and right so this is actually true to the real car okay the design um from the pictures and videos i've seen right of the real thing it, this is actually this side on the left side is smaller the on the right side is slightly bigger okay so i don't know what parts are they but uh yeah this is actually according to the real thing and uh yep you can see the twin turbo v8 2.9 liter engine um this one if i recall correctly i <laughs> i can't recall 600 or 700 over horsepower 
Okay, pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Okay, twin turbo. Twin turbo. Okay, all right. So that's the PGM and the very, very interesting LM. Um, yeah, that, the thing about the F40, right? Uh, there's so many um, versions of it. Okay, so it started off as the F40. And then what I understand is the... Uh, the LM version, uh, 1989, which uh, they use it to race in IMSA as well. Uh, IMSA is a, a, a race in um, uh, G GT type of race in uh, US. Okay, and then after after LM, there is the GT version. After the GT version, then there's the um, I think the Competition version, which is actually um, they made a couple more of this. So this LM, right, the, the, the first version of the LM was not exactly made by um, Ferrari. They were actually, uh, there we go, there we go, got it up. They were actually made by um, uh, Mobili, Mob oh, crap, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> Let me just do a quick click. Oh, what's the name of that? Because because this company right, it's not the first time um, Ferrari has has worked with them. Actually, quite a lot of uh, customers has has requested you know Ferrari for a racing version of the F forty, and Ferrari was actually very reluctant until um, Daniel Marin, basically uh, one of the manager in the French dealership right, um, they they push it through, and uh, and uh, so far and after that who is this? Uh, Yes, my, Michael, Michael, Michael Otto. Yes, Michael Otto Automobili. Ah, they are the tuning house. Okay, they are the tuning house that actually um, they they have done quite a lot of colla collaboration um with Ferrari during that period of time. So Ferrari commissioned um uh, them to actually make nineteen of of this LM. Nice. So. That's the thing. This is the part where I don't see this actually exists on um, the Ferrari LMs. Okay, so it is kind of strange. I mean, if, we, if we're talking about this being a scale model, right, then this is going to be a bit strange having this here. But uh, yeah, maybe PGM is just flexing, you know. Yep, we can do this. <laughs> okay. Um uh, yeah okay so we'll do a quick comparison with the uh the tlvns now the shade of red is slightly different um by itself actually the pgm does look like it's fine but mm, so I, I i'm not sure which is the real ferrari red uh do let me know if you do know which is the closer red to the ferrari red i would guess i would take a guess that the tlvn one is closer it's uh, because when I pack it together here, right, then the the PGM version does look a little bit more orangey. Okay, so I'm just gonna close the door for a bit. But I'm yeah, I'm gonna definitely be annoyed, you know. The doors don't you see. Oh, I'm gonna slam it shut. <laughs> okay, so we just do a quick look um, in front, the details in front on both the PGM and the TLVN. So I have the TLVN on my left, the PGM on my right. You can see the PGM is slightly bigger, right? Uh, my understanding is the Ferrari F40 LM is uh, slightly wider than the road-going Ferrari F50, uh, F40, sorry. So it does look very similar, um, but I think PGM did it better because it has that front detailing there. Okay, so I, I think points to PGM on that. Okay, so headlamps, again, point to PGM being able to open up, okay, in that area. Okay, so at the back, oh, let's, let's just compare the sides, right? Compare the sides and then go to the back. Okay, again, the PGM red really stands out, <laughs> being a little bit more orangey. Um, so it doesn't close as nice as neat as the TLVN yep you can see the PGM kind of you can see very big gaps 
Okay. All right. That's the side, and then we'll go to the back. Take a quick look. Oh, the side, right? Check out the side mirrors, yeah. Um, something I pointed out earlier. So the LM has the side mirrors on the windows. The F40 stock has the uh, side mirrors on the door. Okay. So they intended to make only 40 of the F40 actually. Uh, but in the end, they ended up making 1,311 of the F40. Alright. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. They developed the F40 in uh, just within 13 months you know from scratch kind of from scratch they they have they have all their bits and parts from the ferrari 288 gto okay which way which they actually developed for um group b rally um but they didn't make it in time before fia decided to scrap it yeah so ferrari was too late okay so at the back with it, with it close, right, I think the PGM one looks nicer given that it's a LM. But uh, I believe that this was supposed to be a mesh as well. So points again to PGM. Okay, I'm just going to open it up. So PGM went, went on and do that uh, support bar, the stabilizer, I guess, that goes across. Um, for the LM, F, F, uh, sorry, F40, I'm not sure if they actually have that bar. So yeah i'm not sure details wise again i think points to pgm i think the tlvn ones looks quite plasticky compared to the pgm ones they do look a little bit more detailed more refined okay all right again points to pgm so quite a lot of points going to pgm I did notice another thing that is not on this PGM um, car I, where the refuel rig uh, I can't recall which side is it but I start to notice there is a quite couple of um, there is a couple of uh, versions right that I've seen in photos and videos right they actually have silver color or two okay two silver color thing down there so I would guess that both are part of the refueling rig okay Right, so there we go. I'm just gonna keep the video a little bit short. So what I have behind here, right, is actually the another latest uh, trailer release from Kang Fai, a uh, China brand. Um, they have white, gray, white, gray, black, and red. So the red has that uh, Scuderia Itali logo. Okay, not logo, color scheme that stripe and um what they did is they give they give that decal so i kind of doubt they actually have license for it so they just did it anyway and then yeah you can go and apply it yourself all right and it comes and it came with a couple of accessories kind of thing so this one actually fits four cars i'm supposed to lift it up um but i'm um, not going to showcase this one to you if you do want to see uh, me doing a first look video of the the King Fi trailer Scania S seven eight zero I believe. Okay, if you do want to see, uh, do let me know in the comment se comment section below. Um, so, which one do you prefer? Do you, do you prefer the PGM or the TLVM ones? Um, let me know in the co in the comment section below as well. Um, yeah, there we go. So I think that's it for this time around. Um, oh, you know what? Hang on, let me just let me just plug this in right before I go. Okay, so hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Uh, look us up on Facebook as well, Collectors Cube. Okay, that's where all my extra stocks, whatever I have extra, that I order extra, right? It will be available there. And uh, do hit the subscribe button as well. Um, and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other Taikas videos. So uh, that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.